In this video, we will discuss posterior inferior cerebellar artery syndrome, also known as lateral medullary syndrome or the Wellenberg syndrome. We'll discuss its causes, clinical features, and the structures affected by the Pica syndrome and its investigation and a part of treatment. So what percentage of a stroke is due to hemorrhage and infarction? 85% of strokes are due to infarction, atherosclerotic or embolic, and 15% are hemorrhagic. The Pica syndrome, Wellenberg syndrome or lateral medullary syndrome is the most common cause of brain stem stroke. What's the cause of Pica syndrome? It's the atherosclerotic, thrombotic or embolic occlusion of the vertebral artery or posterior inferior cerebellar artery. Most cases are due to occlusion of the vertebral artery. Some are due to pica occlusion. Only the fourth segment of the vertebral artery gives branches to the brain stem and cerebellum. What's the origin of vertebral artery? On the right side it arises from the innominate artery and on the left side it arises from the subclavian artery. How vertebral artery enters the brain? What's the course? It passes through the foramina of the upper six cervical vertebrae, passes through the foramen magnum to enter into the cranial cavity and unites with the other vertebral artery to form the basilar artery. Basilar artery on the other end is connected to the circle of villus. And what's the origin of posterior inferior cerebellar artery? Posterior inferior cerebellar cerebellar artery is a branch of the vertebral artery. And what's the origin of anterior inferior cerebellar artery? It's a branch of the basilar artery. So posterior inferior cerebellar artery is a branch of vertebral artery and anterior inferior cerebellar artery is a branch of the basilar artery. What are the other branches of the vertebral artery? The other branches of vertebral arteries are one anterior and two posterior spinal artery. What are the other causes of the Wellenberg syndrome or pica syndrome trauma tumor infection demyelinating diseases what drug may cause pica syndrome amphetamine and cocaine vertebral artery rupture is also common in accidents causing wellenberg syndrome which vertebral artery segment occlusion causes pica syndrome occlusion of the intracranial or v4 or the last segment of the vertebral artery or posterior inferior cerebellar artery causes Wellenberg syndrome. Only the fourth segment of the vertebral artery supply branches to the brain stem and cerebellum. Why initial portion of the vertebral artery occlusion does not cause Wellenberg syndrome? Initial portion of the vertebral artery, the V1 portion, may also have atherosclerotic lesions and cause emboli, but is prevented by the collateral circulation from the other vertebral, basilar, and other arteries. Occlusion of the vertebral artery causes hemiparesis or quadriplegia. Occlusion of the vertebral artery does not cause hemiparesis but it causes quadriplegia. Why? Because of the lack of blood supply to the spinal arteries which arise from the vertebral artery. Which part of medulla and cerebellum does the posterior inferior cerebellar artery supply? It supplies the lateral part of the medulla and inferior surface of the cerebellum. So this is the portion of the supply of the different parts of medulla. This is the vertebral arteries area that supplies the lateral portion, posterior spinal artery supplying posteriorly and anterior spinal artery supplying the medial part of the medulla. So what's the presentation of Wellenberg syndrome? Pica syndrome presents with acute vertigo with cerebellar involvement causing cerebellar ataxia. Most injury to the medulla are rapidly fatal because it has respiratory and cardiovascular syndrome in it. So what are the structures affected by posterior inferior cerebellar artery syndrome? The one structure in the brain, cerebellum, inferior surface of the cerebellum and inferior cerebellar peduncle. Two tracts, a spinothalamic tract and the descending sympathetic tract shown in green circles here and three cranial nerve 5, 8 
and the nucleus ambiguous. 5. Trigeminal nerve and its branches, the vestibular nerve, 8. Cranial nerve and the nucleus ambiguous, cranial nerve, 9. Glossopharyngeal and 10th vagus and accessory 11th. So what are the clinical features of the lateral medullary syndrome? Clinical feature depends on the accident of the lesion and the structure's damage. So the first part is the brain structure that is cerebellum. Ipsilateral cerebellar ataxia from the involvement of restiform nucleus and there is dysmetria. What's dysmetria? Past pointing. Patient fails to touch the target. Examples are finger nose test and finger to finger test. And the two tracks that are involved are descending sympathetic tract. Interruption of that causes Harner syndrome. And the triad of symptoms for the Harner syndrome are ipsilateral meiosis and hydrosis and ptosis. And the second tract involved is a spinothalamic tract, which causes contralateral loss of pain and temperature on the body surface shown here here in brown color causing loss of pain and temperature on the opposite side and the cranial nerve involvement 5 8 and nucleus ambiguous involvement of the cranial nerve 5 trigeminal involvement causes loss of pain and temperature and numbness and abnormal sensation over half of the face the ipsilateral side cranial nerve 8 Vestibulocochlear nerve involvement causes dizziness, vertigo, diplopia, and nystagmus. Cranial nerve 8 is connected to the third, fourth, and sixth cranial nuclei, the oculomotor, trochlear, and abdicinal nerve nuclei via the medial longitudinal fasciculus. We have discussed this in the other videos on lateral and the vertical gaze palsy. The nucleus ambiguous, cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal, 10th, vagus, and 11th accessory. They their involvement causes dysphagia, dysphonia, dysarthria, hoarseness due to larynx, pharynx, palatal, and due to vocal cord paralysis. Obstruction of the other blood vessels that supply the medulla can produce variation in clinical picture. Obstruction of the vertebral artery will interrupt the blood supply to the posterior spinal artery, which is a branch of the vertebral artery, and the posterior spinal artery supplies posterior part of the medulla. Posterior spinal artery may also arise from the posterior inferior cerebellar artery and posteriorly we have nucleus cuneatus and gracile nucleus they are supplied by posterior spinal arteries although they are placed more medially but they may be affected in lateral medullary syndrome and if they are affected it will cause ipsilateral loss of position vibration and fine touch sensations and numbness because the dorsal column fibers they ascend up to the medulla ipsilaterally into the nucleus cuneatus and gracile nucleus. Similarly, involvement of the nucleus tractus solitarius will cause loss of taste sensation ipsilaterally. The investigation and treatment of the stroke. CT scan differentiates ischemic stroke from the hemorrhagic stroke. When does a CT scan become positive? Small infarctions are difficult to visualize by CT scan with large ischemic strokes. CT abnormalities are usually evident after 24 to 48 hours, not immediately. CT scan can detect hemorrhages, subarachnoid hemorrhages, aneurysms, tumors, and abscesses. MRI is more sensitive for a small infarct in all areas of the brain, including cortex and brain stem. Diffusion weighted MRI have high sensitivity for identifying ischemic stroke within minutes after the onset. What's the MRI finding? in infarction. In ischemia there occurs poor perfusion only with no other abnormalities that is seen in MRI. What's the advantage of a scan over MRI? A scan is done quickly and it has a wide availability. There is claustrophobia for MRI in the patient and MRI is less sensitive than a scan for blood product. Angiography is the gold standard for identifying atherosclerotic stenosis. It excludes the aneurysms, reveals vascular occlusions and the tissues at a risk of infarction. Angiography can also identify vasospasm, intraluminal thrombi, fibromuscular dysplasia and AV fistula. Treatment of the ischemic stroke generally its medical support, thrombolysis, antiplatelet agents, anticoagulants, and neuroprotection. Manitol to reduce cerebral edema, but hypovolemia should be prevented by giving isotropic.
tonic fluid. Blood pressure should not be lowered precipitously. Why? Because it precipitates ischemia. Recombinant tissue plasminogen activator is for ischemic stroke and the contraindications to the tissue plasminogen activators are head injury in the past three months, GI bleeding in the past three weeks, recent MI, coma or stupor or platelet count of less than 100,000, hematocrit less than 25% or a glucose less than 50 or more than 400 mg per 100 ml.